breaking news at 6 o'clock. Six teenagers shot a block away from their high school. It sounded like anywhere from like 30 to 50 shots. Parents rushed to the scene. This is a lot of violence. It's been since the first day of school. And the suspects are still out there. We need us all to be outraged by what happened here today. We have been covering this breaking news for you since 2 o'clock this afternoon. Thanks for being with us. I'm Karen Lee. I'm Jim Benham. And those six teenagers remain hospitalized. The gunfire was in Aurora at Nome Park. Now what is close to Aurora Central High School was not on the campus. Police say all the victims are students at Aurora Central and no arrest yet. Both Connor McHugh and Michaelia White have been reporting on this story since it broke earlier today. Michaelia, all those shot are still in hospitals, correct? Yes, and Jim, all of those teenagers are students at Central High School. Now, I talk with a mentor who works with the teens and helps keep them off the streets, and he says all of this crime, it has to stop. James Marquez is an outreach coordinator and mental wellness coach at Struggle of Love, an organization that keeps teens off the streets. He actually knew one of the teens who died in an Aurora shooting over the weekend. It touched home um, be because it was so again so close and Marca says it's getting too routine the exact opposite needs to happen it seems like people are like oh another one he says mental health resources are key with the pandemic the extra stress is building at home and at schools even causing depression some of these kids um, haven't been to school since the seventh grade then all of a sudden they wake up and they're in high school you know, 18 months later. He's asking for more accountability with parents also. And he says his center is always there to help as well. He says it's okay to not be okay. Just reach out to somebody. Bring it back together, um, to, uh, together. I think that's what we're missing really. And Aurora PD did ask for any further info that can help them identify one or any of the suspects. Investigators are asking people to come forward with surveillance video or stills. And they're also asking parents to uh, talk to their kids and ask them to come forward if they do have any information. You can report that anonymously at 720-913-STOP. For now, we're live in Aurora. Michaela White covering Colorado First. All right.